hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is michelle today i will be making this beautiful crop top if you are interested in knowing how i made it please stay tuned don't forget to subscribe to my channel so now we have our pattern paper what we're gonna do we're gonna first draw the standard line or a shoulder line my shoulder to shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 it gives me 7 so I will mark my 7 inches on the shoulder line and then my shoulder measurement is 5 so I'm gonna mark 5 inches on the neckline what I will do I will come down by one inch for my shoulder slope and then i will join on my all my points together on the neckline i will come down by one inch you can use your curve ruler to create the neck the, the neckline so from the shoulder line i will go down by 17 inches and that will serve as my back length measurement and i will draw a line across that line will serve as my waist measurement what i will do now i will label the line and then divide my waist by four and then i will mark my waist divided by four and that gives me eight inches and then i will add one inch for the darts now the measurement i need to use is my underarm measurement so my underarm measurement from waist going up i mark nine inches and then i will draw a line across that line will serve as my bust measurement my bust measurement divided by four and then i will put whatever that i get there and then join all the lines together For my armhole, I will go to the shoulder slope down to the bust line and draw a line downwards. And then I will take my tape measurement and then I will divide whatever I have by two and then mark a point to give a shape for my under uh, for my armhole. And then you can use your your ruler to cave everything. To give you your shape of the armhole we are almost done with the front so now what i will do i will add one inch sewing allowance if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so it's free and then i will join on the lines together so now let us work on my darts on my dart what i will do is to get my nipple to nipple measurement and my nipple to nipple measurement is eight eight divided by four it gives eight divided by two it gives me four so then i will mark the four inches from the unfold part and then i will go up by six inches that will be the length of my dart and remember i added one inch for a dart so what i will do i will open my dart by half an inch and then i will connect all the lines so now we are basically done with our front pattern i went on to label this as my front now let us work on the back pattern what i will do i would add one inch for the zipper allowance at the back of the top so what i will do i will mark one inch on the tip of my person paper and then i will draw a line across that will guide me and then i will do everything else as i did with my front so now the other difference is that on my back on the back you don't create the 
the cave on the armhole you don't create it but from the center you just make the armhole from there you mark it from there and then i added my one inch sewing allowance and also my dots my dots length is six i draw a line across then i open my dots by half an inch both sides to give me the one that i added and then i join all the lines together if you haven't subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to comment and to like the video these are both my patterns for the front and the back so now what i will do on the front remember the the neckline are the same so you can drop your one and you can choose whatever neckline shape you want for your one but make sure you drop it so that you don't knock you on your on your neck so these are my patterns this is the fabric that i will be using for this particular tutorial and then now what i need to do is to draft my sleeve i have a little paper here i will first mark the shoulder line i'll come down by four inches and the line i will draw a line across and that will serve as my bicep line and then what i'm doing now i'm marking the length of my sleeve and that is eight you go on the shoulder line now you come in by four inches that's the bicep line and that's what i will do i'll first come in by four inches and then remember the four that I use for my shoulder to my bicep. I divide that by two. And then I will just go there and mark my bicep measurement. My bicep is 14. I will mark seven. 14 divided by two gives me seven. Then I will mark it there. Don't forget to add one inch sewing allowance on your sleeve then from all the way from the shoulder to the point you marked use your ruler please use your curve ruler you just go on and shape your bicep the round arm measurement divided by two whatever that you get you mark it there and then you join all the lines together from the bicep till the length of your sleeve and then you add one inch sewing allowance you can go on and cut your sleeve my sleeve is on a fold label your sleeve i think the next video that i need to do now is to show you guys how i take my measurements and also um make um what you call this the basic body patterns uh, please comment down below if I should go on doing that or you guys are okay. But I was thinking that I need to show you guys how I draft my patterns and how I take my measurement. I went on to cut on my fabric. I'm not using lining for this tutorial. But now what I will do, I will just go on to mark where the dyed point is. And then I will come up by 7 inches when I'm taking get to the sewing machine because of the hem allowance that i left on the bottom of the top so what i will do now i will remove the pattern paper and then work on sewing down everything i will take my front piece to the sewing machine and make my dots sew down both my dots on the back and on the front Please comment down below if I should go on to on making the how I take my measurements, body sewing measurements and also the basic bodies. Now I'm sewing down both my dots on the back and then the front. 
I have done that for both pieces. What I will do now, I will take this to my sewing machine and sew down my shoulders. Pin down everything. So I've sewn down my back and front and now what I'll need to do, I'll take this to my sewing machine and close down the sides. Remember I left one inch for sewing allowance. I have done that already so now I need to work on my neckline. Now what I will do is I will use the binding to close off my neckline to make it neat. Uh, you can use whatever color that you have that will match your fabric and I'm using my black. This is just a friendly beginner. Uh, what do you call it? A beginner friendly tutorial. It's a friendly beginner tutorial, this one. Yeah. So you pin down everything all neck round until you reach the other side make sure while pinning it down you open it what i will do i will place my the neckline of my shirt on top of my table and then this is how my binding looks like i will then pin it round on the neckline i will do this on the right side of the fabric so that i'll be able to fold it inside once i am i'm done so after doing this i'll take this to my sewing machine you see how it looks now this is how it looks i went on to pin down everything and then now i put it over and then now what i will do i will then press it down to the other side I'm sure you see what I'm doing there and then take it to the sewing machine and sew down it everything to keep it intact you can use your pins to to pin it down you see now I'm taking it to the sewing machine I have pinned everything down and what I will do now, I will just mark the one inch that I left for my zipper allowance. And then from the neckline going down, I will come down by three inches. I'll come down by three inches and take it to the sewing machine to sew it down. But make sure while doing this that your head will fit perfectly on the neckline because our zipper won't be opening from the uh, the top part but it will be opening from the bottom part. So you need to make sure that your head will fit perfectly when putting this on. I went on to press down my zipper allowance and now I will go on to attach my zipper. But before that, I need to work on my hem allowance. Remember, I added one inch so, uh, hem allowance on the bottom of the top. So now I need to use that. This is how it is now. I've went on to, to the sewing machine. So what I will do now is to just attach my zipper. So I'm almost done. This is how it looks. So what I need to do is to just attach my sleeves. Then we are done. Let's work on the sleeves now. I'll first take my sleeves to the sewing machine and sew down the sides. Re the sides. Remember I left one inch and then I will hem my bottom. I've done that already so this is my sleeves oh my sleeves is a little bit um bigger than my armhole what I did is I pleated the, 
this is how it came out i love it i love it it was an easy tutorial thank you for watching until this far bye until the night is over.